and welcome to my home. My name is Jackie. This is a box. Mm-hmm. This is my birthday gift. You're like, Jackie, what are you talking about? Well, my birthday is in December 28th. My So Christmas and birthdays tend to get... Well, we'll get that later. Because <laughs> when you have December birthdays, you don't really get two gifts like other people do. Not in my family, anyway. My my parents always just gave us a gift, and on top of that, I am a twin. So, I share my birthday every year with my sister, which is, I guess, fun. Sorry about the notification. The computer just rebooted before, before I started recording. So, anyway, um... As a kid, it was not fun. As a kid, it was you wanted it to be your special day. All your other friends had special days, and they had they had birthday parties at school where your friends could give you birthday things. We had birthday parties at Christmas break. Yeah, and there was no party. You know, uh, it was like, oh, well, it's Christmas. Happy Merry Christmas and Happy Birthday. So we've always just celebrated our birthday and Christmas, same day, same gift. I mean, our whole family has, um, with us, with the, with us. And to the point, I forgot other people had two, two days of gifting. Like my father didn't like gifting. My mother really didn't do gifting. So we only celebrate Christmas. So when I met my husband, his family's huge onto birthday and Christmas. So James's birthday is December 10th. So he's in the same boat for most of his life. Christmas, I mean, his birthday was around college finals or mid, you know, not mid, but final exams. And then his aunt shares my birthday, December 28th. And um, so since we share a birthday, she she made it very clear that birthday is two events. Birthday wrapping, birthday, don't put Christmas paper on her birthday gift. Two gifts. So with his aunt, I make sure I send two gifts. A birthday gift and a, and a Christmas gift. I don't care. I would just rather get a gift that's a nicer gift. Combine both gifts. I don't care. And actually, I tell people, James and I have birthday, Christmas, same month. Just give us a wee gift. Just give us one nice board game. We're, gl we're good. We're good. But anyhow, um, they never listen. They just get us whatever. And uh, that's how I kind of view gifting at this point in life anyway. Just like, get me whatever you want because um, you don't have to get me anything. I'm, f I'm fine with anything you get me. Um, James is filling up the dog water bowl. That's why you hear water right now. We just got home. I have a box. I, I'm a little disappointed. Sad face. Not this box I'm showing you, but the um, box I'm hoping that I had door was not shipped the way it was shipped with both of the bags I had in there because um, I had sent some stuff off to repair. One bag was to be authenticated, and it's authentic. I'm going to show you this bag. I sent this bag over to Dooney, and it's from the Tawny line. Anyway, it needs some reshaping. So they they authenticated it, and they said, yes, it's legit. It's ours. But now, so now I have it, and I'm happy to have it back because I have the perfect wallet to match this. It has nothing to do with this collection. Let me see if I can show you. Um, it's called the Biscuit Wallet and a different collection altogether um, from this one. But look at how perfect this wallet is. I mean, perfect wallet for this bag. And I'm not really even a matchy-matchy person. I don't have matching accessories for everything I own. But I really like this bag. And I'm, I need to have it hang up for a while to get the weight to pull down the leather shape it some more it's been in a box it's been traveling it's been up to connecticut and back but anyway i'm just i had to email the customer service to make sure that the other bag i'm waiting on is still hasn't shipped yet because it's not here and it's not in the box and i don't know but anyway let's talk about this bag so this is a repeat buy what do you mean by that jackie i used to have this bag in black and i gave this bag away probably three or four years ago to a very good friend of mine she didn't have any bags from this brand and she loves this brand so I said and she loves black black is her color she's a blonde and black just is just her clothes are black her shoes are black her accessories are black she wears white blouses and black slacks and shoes I mean she's very very coordinated I I you will never see me in black really if I buy black clothes it's an accident um so anyhow, let me show you this bag. Yes! 
I'm so happy to get this bag. So the one I gave her actually was a little smaller than this. So you're like, Jackie, what the heck is this bag? I don't know much about the history of this bag other than the fact that I've only ever seen it on the Japanese market. I, I So I have, I have another version of this bag. So I had a black one and I gave it away. Smaller version, a medium size of this one. And I have a blue one that's sitting right over here. And I got this blue one. And I'm going to switch into this bag and enjoy it. So this is called Saint Jacques. I mean, I'm, I'm probably saying it wrong because it's French, but it's a Saint, Saint Jacques shopping bag. It's a shopping tote. This is by Louis Vuitton. And I've only ever seen these in the um, um, Japanese market. They're all over the Japanese market. You never see them anywhere else. And let me show you when I say I have another one. I have the baby version. So I have this version. So my, my uh, little dog is barking because grandma is having dinner and he thinks he should have dinner with her. Although he's already had his dinner. So apologize for the barking dog. Anyhow, so this one is just like a handheld. Um, this one, they both have zippers. These are beautiful bags. I don't understand how these don't have now, I don't understand how people don't have these everywhere or, or, or why I don't make this bag anymore. So there's some wear and tear. This is either not young bags. These are old bags. Um, and the thing about the Japanese or Asian market in general is they want the newest bag. So this is an older bag. And the problem with bags that come out not just seasonal, but they're dateable, they know that's an old bag. You're carrying an old bag. That's not trendy. That's not new. They don't make that anymore. Um, so that's why this bag and when i tell you how much i paid for this you will be surprised and there's some wear and tear on the inside um which i knew i knew all about that's a good thing about the japanese market if they really tell you everything i'm okay with that i'm okay with this bag this bag as far as i'm concerned is in fantastic condition my issue was how long the strap drop was because the one i had in black was a little smaller than this and it had it was a little harder for me to carry so my friend is very small, so she's a petite, you know. So anyway, this has some wear scuffs on the bottom because there's no feet. Mr. Watson, sir. I think he's now barking at the neighbors. But anyhow, um, there's no feet on this, so I just dropped, oh, I dropped some tape. And um, I'm like, what the heck? So when you pull this down, surprisingly, this bottom leather's fine. This isn't the epi, by the way. It's along the rim that has the wear. Along the edges up here, the sharp corners have a little bit of the wear. There's wear on the handle. Sometimes you see these in, in better condition, sometimes in worse condition. But I have edge coat, and I'm just going to do some black edge coat to... to liven up this bag a little bit i'm going to do some moisturizing um not on the epi itself because it's a heavily treated heavily coated but and this is also a coated treated leather too but it could use a little bit of moisture i can feel that it needs moisture and um this is my birthday gift so this year's birthday gift um because last year's was so excessive i i was really excessive i the birthday bag i bought last year was the coach Revel and Sports Blue, and that was a $500 expenditure that um, I put on Karna. So I paid it over many months. And then I bought the $900 um, Coach Rogue, which shall not be repeated again. Uh, it was a one-time effort ever. So you're like, Jackie, but you just bought an LV Shopper. How much could this LV Shopper be? Um, $250. With tax and shipping. Yes. This is cheaper than the coach bag I bought for my Christmas gift. Mm -hmm. It's old. It's blue. It's beautiful. It's still luxury. It's LV. I love it. I have, I, I mean, I've bought this is the third one I've purchased. I purchased, um, if I could have, I would have bought the red one too. Um, my friend who has a black one, she loves it. It's perfect for her. It's a good size for her. It's actually like this size, but with the long the long handles. And then this one is bigger with the long handles. And honestly, it's just because it's an old style. And I think it's because it's so quiet, people don't know 
it's an LV bag, even though it has an LV marker right here. Um, people who have been collecting, I tell them, hey, do you have the St. Je Jacques um, shopper tote? And they're like, what are you talking about? So I really do think this was a this was a European exclusive. I don't think this, or not European, but Asian exclusive, because I've only ever seen it on the Asian, on the Japanese resale market. I've never seen it anywhere else. I've never seen anyone else carry it. And I grew up in Thailand. I never saw it in Thailand either. So I don't know. But if you do know, let me know. If you have this bag, talk to me. I want to know. And this, actually, I think this came in green also. Gold, green, red, and blue, and black are the colors that I have seen in this. If, it, if, it, if you have any other colors or you have this, let me know. I want to know. I, I love this bag. I think this bag is awesome. I think what makes this bag ageless is that there is no hardware on it other than the zipper. And the age that you can see is on the zipper pull you see some tarnishing but because that there's no zipper there's no hardware there's a little bit of discoloration here and here based on just the, the wear but it's so minor it's so minor I mean epi, epi leather in my opinion is the workhorse of, of LV if you want leather um, kind of like their canvas the thing that makes the canvas a little less of the workhorse is the Vachetta or Vachetta. Um, so it kind of ages the bag. But if it, if you had the monogram with the epi leather as the handles, it would last forever. This will last forever. It's very lightweight. I love this bag. I'm going to use it. I'm going to love it. I am going to use it tomorrow. And I'm going to spend the next... I've, I've actually finished my shopping for... Christmas other than my husband's family and we're gonna do that in, in Disney because they are huge um, Nightmare Before Christmas fans and they've really launched some new stuff and Haunted Mansion stuff and so we'll probably get that when we go on our trip to, to Florida and then we'll be done with Christmas so um, luckily they don't watch these videos or they would know what they were getting <laughs> anyway have a great day thank you for watching my video bye